In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can draw a star that's a perfect five point star, then sweep a shape along that path, and then 3D print it into something like an earring or other decorative object. To get started, let's make a component. We'll call this component star. Then we need to create a sketch. I'll create a sketch on the ground plane and I'll start drawing some lines. I'll start right here and I'll draw a line down. Then I'll draw a line over. Then I'll draw a line here. Then I'll draw another line. Then I'll come up to here. Then I'll draw a line. Then I'll come back up. And I'll go this way, this way, and this way. You have to be careful because sometimes Fusion will put in some interesting constraints. So we will work with that and we'll add our own constraints. So I'll click here to make this vertical over that, and this also vertical over the origin. Now I want to make these lines collinear, and I also want these to be collinear, and these should be collinear as well. This should also be collinear, and this should be collinear. Perfect. Now we can start adding some angles. But before we do that, we can draw some construction lines by getting our line tool, press X. Then I'll draw a construction line from here to here. And then I'll draw a construction line from here to here. And then one from here to here. Then here to here. And then one more construction line. I'll make all of these equal. I'll click this one and this one. Then this one and this one. This one and this one. And now once I have all the construction lines equal, I should have a nice five pointed star. Next, we need to just double check these dimensions. These should be 36. Once we do one dimension, then everything's locked in place. We just need to put something on the origin. So I'll make the midpoint of this line right on the origin. Then we just need to dimension this. So let's see, how tall do we want this earring? I'll go from here to here and I'll go out. 50 millimeters would be about two inches. So maybe let's do 75 millimeters, so about three inches tall. Great, and now I can go ahead and finish my sketch. Now I want to create a construction plane and this time I wanna create a plane along a path. So then I can click one of these path lines and you notice that creates a plane that's perfectly perpendicular along that path. And I'll say, okay. Then I can create a sketch on that path and I wanna make sure I project in this line. Make sure you have specified entities selected, then click here, then say okay. Now I can draw sketch lines and I'll draw a line right here. And then sometimes when you get all out of place, you can just finish your sketch, then right click, edit sketch, and suddenly you're looking right back at your sketch. So you can see here, we're looking at our sketch. I wanna dimension this, let's see, we'll make this five millimeters. And then I want the midpoint of this to be right there. Now we need to make our shape. I think a nice arc would look nice. So I'll go ahead and create an arc, a three point arc. Now go from here to here. And then I need to give this a radius. So I'll give this a radius of three. And then I'll finish my sketch. Now we're ready to make our sweep. So I'll go ahead and create our sweep, and then I'll click this profile, and then our path wants to be this path, and then automatically it goes around and makes that sweep. Pretty cool. Now we can create one more sketch. We'll do this right on the ground plane, and then we can project in this body. Now we can draw a circle wherever we want, so we can attach this to any kind of hoop. So I think what I'll do is I'll draw a circle right here, And then I'm gonna hide the body just for a second. And then I wanna draw a line, and I'll draw a line from here to here, and I want that circle to be coincident with that line. And then I have to give this circle a dimension. Let's say 2.5. That'll be enough to get a wire through there. And then we can put it on the midpoint. Perfect. So now we'll go ahead and extrude that. I'll finish my sketch. I can select these two profiles, show the body again, and then I want to go all the way through and say, okay. Now I have a hole there and I can click these top edges 
and just add a small fillet to it, maybe 0.5, just to make that a little bit smoother and say, okay. And then I could add fillets to these edges if you wanted to, to round those out a bit, but that way it'll stay nice and pointy. So now we have everything we need to be able to 3D print this. We can export it as an STL just by clicking on the body or the component and then going file, 3D print, and then we can decide if we want a medium or high refinement of our mesh, and then we save it and take it to the 3D print utility of our choice. Happy 3D modeling and happy 3D printing.